Hi guys and welcome to another Divi 4 WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well recently I've had a bit of a problem when uh, using a bit of custom CSS. I'm using the awesome Divi theme here. Uh, it just keeps getting better and better and they keep adding more and more features. But when I've done some custom CSS scripting I'm having a problem with it actually sticking and I'll show you what I mean and I'll show you how to get over it so I'm using the Chrome browser let's inspect this is a regular HTML button I've just put into a, a module and as you can see it's got a class of my button it's a JavaScript button which I'm doing in another video I'll be bringing that out in the next couple of days but let's just style this button and I'll show you what I mean uh, let's say give it a background color blue and let's give it some padding around say so top and bottom we'll give it uh, 10 pixels and left and right let's give it 20 pixels okay let's just give it a border radius make it round let's say 50 pixels yeah, so we've got a little button. Oh, and I want the the actual writing itself. I want that to be white. So we'll say color white. There we go. And I want it to stay like that, obviously. So let's take this. Let's copy our CSS just like you usually do. And remember, it's a class of my button, my BTN go to our custom CSS in our theme options and it's my button my BTN was the class we'll put this in there in between the curly brackets and save the changes Now, when I go back here and refresh the browser, that should stay exactly the same. But it didn't. It reverted back to how it was before, which is not what I want at all. Now, I found to get over that with the Divi theme. If we go to our, back to our theme options, go up to the top here. I'm down in dashboard. I'm Divi theme options. I'm going to go over to the Builder tab and then to the Advanced tab, Static CSS File Generation. I'm going to disable that. I'm going to save my changes. Now when I go back to the site and refresh, let's see if that CSS is working now. There we go. It's actually working. So if you, you're having that problem, just remember, go to your Divi, to your Theme Options, to your Builder tab, to the Advanced. Turn off the static CSS file generation. It should solve that problem for you. I've just had that happen a few times recently, which is a little annoying, but uh, easy fix. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that and found it helpful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.